Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Belgian campaign in here. Fuck me. In here in Victoria 2 historical project mod. So yeah, that took a while, but I did it in the end, and that's the most important part. So, we are now the rulers of the glorious province of Picardy, and uh, Belgium is stronger than it ever has been before. Now really, the only major goal left in this campaign is the annihilation of the Netherlands, and uh, hopefully we can achieve that. We still have 34 years left, and I hope that's going to give me enough sort of infamy room to achieve that. We can of course lose infamy by releasing uh, various states down here in... Uh, Ethiopia. I don't know how much infamy we can lose in total. I guess that would be good to know. One, uh, two, three, four, and then five for Ethiopia itself. So five possible Ethiopian nations. Uh, so 10 infamy in total can be lost by releasing uh, those guys. So we can essentially get rid of every last bit of infamy we have right here. If uh, the need arises, and most likely it will arise if we are to destroy the Dutch. But for now, uh, we're not going to be bothered with that. Uh, I still... yes, Museum of Natural History, of course. I still want to wait and see... Uh, um, if I can get the Dismantle Empire Castle Spell, which I'm pretty sure I will get eventually. I do think I need uh, mass politics first though. Uh, but right now we're getting uh, mass culture uh, first, just so that I can get that prestige and keep myself in great power status. Although at this point, that seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, we're pretty much guaranteed to stay in great power. The Austro-Hungarians and the French just cannot stand up to us. Uh, well, they can stand up to us militarily, but in terms of prestige, we're just glorious. The Argentinians want an alliance, sure, sure. They are my spherling after all. Uh, the Paraguay is going to collapse to socialists. But that is none of my concern. I say that even if they are in my sphere, I don't care. Uh, we can continue influencing Morocco. There's been a bit of a competition here for Morocco, so... But I've sort of, you know, I've run out of people to influence, really. So there's not much to do. Kick out the Americans. Spain, yeah, people are doing, or nobody's really influencing the Spanish. Ooh, really? Picardy integration already? Of course. Brilliant. For Belgium has Belgium has maintained control over Picardy for us to consider the possibility of integrating it into Belgium as a whole. Of course, take two infamy for that. That's fine. We can release some Ethiopians, and I'll compensate for that. So now we get this cool little uh, thingy. Rebellion in our ally. We don't care. Good, good rubber. Where are these rubber problems popping up anyways? I know there are going to be some down here. That's one of the main reasons I like this area. Ooh, there's actually rubber in the Congo, which makes sense of course, but if I remember correctly, that was rarely the case in uh, the base game. Ah yes, there's indeed rubber in Cambodia. That's something I actually didn't know, but that's that makes Cambodia a lot more valuable. There's a really nice rubber province here in uh, Hatien. That's the one that just converted. So yeah. No, fuck you, Argentina. Seriously, I did not allow you to actually help you. You're attacking Paraguay? Well, does any, like, is there a reason not to join? Yes, there is. It'll reduce my infamy... Uh, stuff. My loss of infamy, and I don't want that, so... Sorry Argentina, but uh, no can do. There is infamy to be lost. We just have to spend infamy on uh, beginning the process of integrating uh, Picardy. I wonder if we're gonna get it by the end of the game. Probably not, but we're gonna get some nice assimilation. Now sadly, I don't think this assimilation is going to... Carabino, really, of all the people. That's good though. They, uh, they, yeah, that's perfectly fine because uh, they will uh, eventually assimilate into Walloon because they're not a core culture of this province like the French are. Yeah, I wonder. Like, are Picard viewed as a core culture, primary or sec? Okay, so they, uh, they don't, they don't assimilate. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's the fact that they, the French, have cores on the province. That's the main problem. I wish there was a. Uh, like a decision or something to remove French cores. 
That would have been good. I know it can be done. National assimilation, so here you go. Yeah, this is basically what I was thinking. Is that this thing only really pops up when the uh, province is already a core. So it's not really relevant for me. Uh, alliance with you, no. I doubt you're going to be of much help, sorry. The Arab Revolt! Ave of man nationalism. Well, I don't own any Arab land, so I don't know what the feck you're on about. Oh, uh, never mind, I do. Egypt is technically Arab. Uh, perhaps self-governance. Oh, fuck that. Put that shit down. I won't have no Arab uh, independence. That is intensely unacceptable. Let's go ahead and get some fascism going. Also known as mass politics. Uh, I don't know if I'll go fascist. I, ooh, coal. Yola, where is that? I need to make sure there's not like something uber valuable there. Yola. Um, no, it's just great. Go switch that shit over to coal. That would be good. Oh, there's a little. Oh yeah. Okay. I guess I rec I'm recruiting them over here, and they're just marching automatically. I'll get on them. Futurism. Let's go ahead and increase our opinion here. Uh, we might actually be able to get it. Seems like other people have sort of just given up. Oh, Germany, what are you doing? You're decreasing our relations. That can't be done. That's not good for any of us. Make sure those relations are tip-top. Same for you, Austria-Hungary, even if you are in the wrong alliance. Oh. Milton Socialists. Yeah, yeah, the Italians will deal with that. Switzerland. Yes, actually. That I don't mind. Actually, is nobody... Well, the Italians are going to get that, it seems. I don't think I'm going to join the competition. Even if it is a nice little country to... Colonial Exposition. Yes. Well, people... Let's actually take the re... well, that barely made a difference, but... Oh well, it's it looked good on the paper. Oh. Uh, who are you at war with? Oh, man, really? Don't tell me you're Border Gorin. Ah, uh, Kalad is the one I guess he's actually going for. Yeah. The second war, really, is... Are you Sphered or something? Yeah. Both by the Americans and the British. Well, not Sphered, but they are friendly, so... That does the trick. Oh, there we go, the third way. Fascism has arisen. Makes sense that it would arise in France. They've kind of gotten their butt whooped a bit. Also, I hope you guys in the comment section are happy now that Britain is independent. I did get a comment telling me to make sure I free Britain. Not Britain, Brittany. Um, and, uh, yeah, shit, because I uploaded the first episode of this Let's Play yesterday, so I haven't really been able to read your re reactions until then. Uh, but yeah, one of the requests were to... Release Brittany, so uh, that I have done. Technically, well, I didn't really do it, but you know, I was part of the war that achieved it. So, in a sense, I did it, and I will have to do. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have them work less. That's not good. Honestly, the more I read about Victoria too, this looks just awful. Less effective factories and less needs. You want needs so that they can buy your crap. Minimum wage, though, that sounds a bit better. Depends, though. If my factories are doing badly, I guess minimum wage wouldn't be so bad. But if they are doing alright, which they seem to be doing, ramping up that minimum minimum wage would be alright. Maybe this stuff? No. Let's do, let's do some pensions. If we have to do anything. Encourage nationalism. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, I guess we'll keep it on just in case we can click the decision. Just because it's a funny little decision, but it's not going to be super relevant. I do want to do this though. Form the Belgian Colonial Army. I think we can get more armies by doing that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we need... Oh, we need to... Ah, okay, we need to recruit... We need to get this thing, and that's not super good. <laughs> I don't think I want to be bothered, to be honest. It just seems like a bit of stress to me. Um, oh, man. Imagine a war against the French right now. How cool would that be? Right, so we have Sphere Morocco. Good for us, I, I guess. Well, fuck you, Argentina. If you're just going to call me into wars I don't want to join, then I'm not going to be your ally. And there we go, mass politics. Electric furnace. 
Uh, ooh, coal production 100 plus. That seems very good. Although we should probably get some more uh, military tech. Okay, do I have Cassus Belly now? No. Then maybe there has to be a pop up. There it might be triggered by an, uh, a decision. Police state, paramilitary group. No, it's not in there. Talkies. Huh. Well, then I do not know. It might not be an invention, just an event that happens. Not sure. Alright, so here we go. Uh, a war to end all wars. It has become increasingly clear that we have entered a new era of unprecedented warfare. The conflicts of our time are no longer mere local issues, but instead reach every corner of the world. Considering the ever-increasing stakes and the terrifying impact of these hostilities on the nations involved, there is no longer any need for a strain. From now on, a great war will allow a side that is clearly winning the ability to add even more warbles. Now, I think this is not actually a thing by the mod. I think this is a thing that they added in the beta patch. I don't think this is the thing that triggers... Yeah, no, it is not. So I don't know what it is. I don't know how you get the opportunity to dismantle. I don't know. I'm going to try and like reload the game and see if that does anything. No, that was not what you had to do. So I don't know then. I have no idea how to get uh, Dismantle Empire. Still not super stressed. Oh, Italian Republic. Yep, they've got the... Uh, some revolution. Yeah, they had a... No, okay, well, they just switched to liberals. Well, I guess the Milton Socialists, they're not communists, so they're different. Also, why am I making money? Just because I reloaded the game. Who knows? Let's continue reducing those taxes. Natives are restless. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. Rich strata? They don't matter. Montenegro. Sure. I don't know why I have influence over here. I guess it's the fact that I'm not really influencing anybody else. So my... The game is just... Uh, putting the influence wherever it feels like it would be useful. Uh, so yeah, Morocco serves no more purpose. That was fine. We need to find someone else to influence, I guess. I don't know who, who that would be. Ooh, really? France has dropped out of great power status. That's not necessarily that good, because it means that uh, I won't have to... Like, I cannot have great wars against them. Ah, lovely tea. Um, and that sucks. It means that we won't really be able to take any more land. It would be hilarious to spare them, though, but I'm not going to try. I assume they're going to bump back up eventually. It would really surprise me if they didn't. Guess we'll want to keep an eye on the Netherlands. Nah, nobody is even trying, so that's fine. The Ger oh, never mind, the Germans are having some silly ideas. I guess that's something we can spend our uh, infamy on. Or not infamy, uh, our influence. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we need to come up with some someone else, though. I guess we can keep fighting in... Uh, let's go all in on Brazil. See if we can get them. Nobody else has. I mean, we were able to get uh, Morocco, so why not Brazil? Because they too had a bunch of people who were friendly with them. Paramilitary groups. Yes, yes, yes. Crackdown on the communists. Belgian schools. Yes. Glorious. Discriminatory school system. I love this event. Discriminate the fuck out of our bill bullshits. Also, Spain has decided to go full return and invade... Uh, France, although they're actually doing all right, despite ended up ending up in war with both Austria-Hungary and a bunch of other people. Oh, modern design. Nobel Peace Prize. Oh man, prestige for days. Look at that, number four now. Just passed up Japan. How about that, Japan? It's not a good day when fucking Belgium passes you up. Yeah, look at that. Both the Russians and the Austro-Hungarians just sort of seem to be sitting around doing nothing. Oh, although, here we go. It's the French are fighting back. Oh, never mind. They just got wrecked. Wrecked in rectum. Yes, they're going to conquer Aquitaine if they succeed. That would be funny. Oh, the money is drying up a bit. Let's tax the, tax the people a bit then. Whoa! I'm an empire. What has happened to you? Uh, militant trade union. That's lame. 
any province. Ugh. Workers Union, damn it. Well, I can't have my factories become shit. But yeah, look at this, I don't know what happened here. They all of a sudden became, became released, so now there's a bunch of these puppet states. I don't know if that's an event or what. It might be the, uh, you know, the Arab, uh, not the Arab Spring, but the Arab something something event. Uh, because I know that's a thing. I, I mean, I just got it in, e in Egypt, right? So maybe they accepted autonomy? Ah, Nobel Prize. How nice. Oh shit, are the Spanish falling back? Ooh, they are. Their armies have been crushed and they're now uh, retreating. France may, may just live another day. That sucks. Uh, sure. Also, uh, Brazil is now in our sphere. So that's nice. We lost Puerto Rico though, because the Americans are being bitches. Fascist welfare, uh, yeah. You can see I'm, in I'm encouraging fascist loyalty. Never quite understood this, like what is... What is the difference between fascist loyalty and, uh, you know, the people having the ideology fascism? I do not know the difference there. Alright, so we're gonna kick out the Americans, and then we're gonna spare them. Man, that was such a huge amount of Nobel Prizes there. Interesting, when you take into consideration that I'm sort of hinting at that I wouldn't mind being fascist. I'm not gonna ally you, Morocco. I, I fear you're gonna start invading, uh, invading uh, Fra France or something like that. That would not be good fun for me. Let's do electric air furnace. Get that huge boost to coal output. We have also had more provinces swap to coal. A couple more in down in Africa and one in Egypt. It's not a very good province though, so barely any coal is produced, but that's fine. More socialists. Oh wow! Don't do that. I'm not sure what would be the least amount of socialists there, but whatever. How's the fascist percentage? 6%. I guess that's fine for being... Uh, for us having, you know, encouraged it for so sh short a time. There's still no fascist rebels, though. I don't know how we would encourage that. Also, French unification movement? I don't think so. Dutch liberation movement? Nope. Away with you. This other stiff is, stuff is fine, I guess. Yeah, fin French pra patriots, I can murder them. Damn it, Germany, why? Why is everyone tampering with my empire? <sighs> so annoying. And then they just immediately give up. They're just like doing all these... Oh, fuck, Brit yeah, ally Britain, what? You're fighting the Americans? Why? Ooh, the war of British aggression. <laughs> and why is Newfoundland? I don't know. Uh, okay, so this game's. Uh, this is something that happens a lot. Is that uh, Canada won't get many provinces because they uh, the British make them states before those events pop up. But here, here it's like extreme. Can Canada didn't even get to spawn. <laughs> So, yeah, this is definitely something that should be fixed in the mod. Because this whole thing is a bit silly. Ah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to join it though. I fear this is going to backfire. And the British are going to get stomped. And then the Americans are going to start adding dismantled Empire War Goals. I don't want to be a part of that. Still pisses me off that I cannot dismantle the Netherlands. I don't know why. Is it because... I mean... No. I will not ally with the... I just fucking cancelled my lines with them. Are you stupid or something? Crucial states... Yemen, Cyprus, what the hell? But yeah, I will increase my relations though. Also, I've been, I've been working on Italy. I want to ally them again. I don't know... Yeah, they, after the revolution, they uh, stopped being my ally. Which made me very sad. Oh, Russia. I'm actually sort of rooting for Spain, so... 
a few. Of course, if I had been part of the war, I might have been able to get some colonies, but the Americans don't actually have any colonies to speak of, do they? So that's... Oh, well, that's, that is French, so nope. Oh, here's Italia. Good. Ooh, colonial incident. That is tempting as fuck, but I don't think we're gonna have to take it. Uh, it's... They're spared by the Germans and allied to them, so war against them just wouldn't really work. But it gives us some nice jingoism, so there's that. Ugh, militant socialists. Really now? Could you just not do that, please? Because I am not a fan of it, to be honest. Kill them all. I will not accept this. New class is theory. Good, good, good. No, actually, I want this thing, because I, I should have gotten that ages ago. But yeah, we need uh, we need dreadnoughts. Definitely. Alright, so the Milton Socialists have been put down. So let's run back down here. So that we don't, uh, inf you know, accidentally kill fascists if, if they ever decide to rise up. Conservative and reactionary parties. We will. Yeah, I don't know how effective this encouragement of mine is. Percentage is increasing, but I I wonder how much of that is uh, to be blamed on, uh, you know, the fact that I'm encouraging, or if it's really just uh, something that happens naturally this late in the game. I think it's more of a natural thing. I think maybe we're gonna swap back back to workers. Here we can see the commies. Trying to rise up. Not a very Im <laughs> impressive attempt that at rising up, but whatever. They tried. Oh shit, are there commies elsewhere? Oh yeah, this is where they rose up. Okay, shite. And I just have a bunch of cannons sitting here. I guess we can uh, take our glorious navy up here and pick up some dudes. Hey, hey Leal integrated in Belgium! Brilliant, long live Belgium! So sadly that removes the assimilation thingy, but that's fine, this place is already very much Picard. I guess that's why it uh, cords so quickly. So hopefully we're gonna get this one as well. If we could get that by the end of the game I would be very happy. This is also nice because if we ever lose this province to the French in some freak accident, uh, we can take it back. So all is good. Let's get our troops home. Right, I've looked into how to get the Dismantle Empire Council's belly a bit more, and how I th think it works, well, how they said it on the forums anyways, is that you not only need mass politics, you also need low enough relations with the target country. Um, so that's something we need to work on then, I guess. Also, let's start influencing them, because I've seen the Germans are getting a bit too friendly. Make sure they are out of there. If this works, that is. Oh, rebels. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to send some an army down here to deal with these guys. French patriots, really. Well, that's not good. Yeah, there's been a lot of revolts lately. I have gone ahead and... Um, ditched social spending in the hopes that it maybe will would encourage some fascism, so that's why everyone is so angry. That's fine though. Hopefully it's going to work out to my advantage. I really wouldn't mind going fascist. Outrageous. Yada yada yada. Let's plop the gathering point down here actually. Uh, yada yada yada. Oh shit! Uh, Belgian fascists speak of the devil. Okay, uh, well, stop recruiting guards then, because I don't need them popping up and uh, killing my rebels. Okay, reduce the speed. And those are fascists. I guess we'll leave them be. I'll plop an arm here. I don't want this. I don't necessarily want them getting anywhere. Right, uh, yeah, no Dutch Patriots, that's not something I want. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to go deal with them. 
but I really would not mind going fascist. That would simplify the uh, the dealings with the Dutch. If I if this uh, thing on the forums actually is how you gain the Casas Belly, I need then. Uh, that's not guaranteed, of course. Okay, run over here. Oh man, look at those losses. Oof. Are we, yeah, we're using gas attack on them. <laughs> we're just gassing the Dutch to death. Brilliant strategy. Alright, let's reduce those relations a bit. And then we'll see whether or not we can justify a war. Yeah, these are all just patriots. Oh my god. Such a slaughter. It is glorious. And yes, there it is. Dismantled nation. Ooh. Those are some dank memes, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Fuck it. Let's, uh, let's dismantle the Dutch nation. And we got busted immediately. Fani Alvata. God damn it. Well, I guess the odds of getting that for free is really limited, so that's not something we are going to be... That's not exactly super uh, surprising. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're doing fine down here, so these rebels have been all killed off. Are there any rebels in our Asian colonies? No, not, not that I see, so that's good. Oh shit, militant socialists. Crap. Who will get the control here then? Belgian fascists. Okay, well that's good then. Well then we might as well just start cleansing this land. And actually, let's uh, let's enact a reform just to uh, shut our people off a bit. Stop them from revolting so damn much. I've also given them uh, their social services again. So hopefully this wave of revolt can end. So you're socialist, so you need to die. Socialist, 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 oh my. What? The cause of freedom? Fuck that. But I don't want to lose prestige, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, there we go. Every, all the rebels are gone, but <laughs> the fascists still rule our capital. And of course, in glorious Victoria 2 logic, that's the only determining factor on rebel victory. Oh my, we might have to tax our people a bit more. That's okay, though. Also, there's a war down here now. So, yeah, the strong Hungarians wanted my help, and I was like, nope, nope, <laughs> no can do. Kind of busy right now. Didn't I have an army down here? No? Oh, it just went back up here. Okay, that's fine. I guess that's where it originally was, so that would make sense. Let's actually assemble all of our colonials up here. Join, join the party. Uh, but I've been recording for a while now, so I think I might just end the episode here. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye!